Welcome to Training Module 28, Stress Management. What we're trying to do here is help our staff understand the current levels of stress, to identify them and acknowledge the fact that stress is a real factor in terms of how we work. Now, stress is defined as a condition or feeling experienced when a person perceives that demands exceed the personal and social resources the individual is able to mobilize. In other words, the demands are greater than my ability to meet them. As long as I can meet the demands and manage a situation, I feel very little stress. Now, we all live with stress. What we're trying to identify is when stress gets above the norm. To do that, we're going to use Thomas Holmes' research document on identifying stress in our life. And what we do is the number of times it's happened in a year, the value it's been given in the research, and then the total score. Have your staff complete this personal stress inventory before they come to this staff training. Uh, their scoring process and the scoring process looks like this. You add up all the scores and notice that if you score over 300 you're really really high in stress, 80 percent chance you'll be sick and it's helpful for you to understand how much stress your staff is actually facing. The higher your score the harder you should work to manage the stress. Now we want to talk about managing stress and there's three primary ways we're going to talk about it. Action oriented says we seek to confront the problem causing the stress, change the environment of the situation. That's action oriented. Emotionally oriented is when we don't have the power to change the situation but we can manage our interpretation or how we feel about it. We manage our emotions. Action, I change the stressor. Emotion, I change how I respond to it. Acceptance oriented is where something's happened, it's history, we have no power or emotional control and our focus is just on moving ahead. So the stress planning process goes like this, identify the sources of stress, list and prioritize them, identify appropriate stress, stress management techniques, that's the action, emotional or acceptance, and then create a stress management plan. For those on your staff that are extremely stressed, have high levels of stress, it may be beneficial as a leader for you to meet with them and talk about how work is impacting that and make sure they have a plan in place to manage that stress. If not, you're going to constantly face people who are sick and unhealthy and so managing stress is an important part of how we help our staff grow.